you look at the Rams and what they've been able to do over these last five games, it's been because Kyron Williams has been able to run the football. Mm -hmm. So now they can run the football. They can play action pass off that. Now we know Cooper Cup. He's a triple crown winner. And he's a Super Bowl MVP winner. But the, but the resurgence of Puka Nakua, he's been outstanding. And so now you have two guys that can move the chain and you can run the football with Kyron Williams. This is a team that once they get into the playoffs, and you know how it works, Shay Sharp. You know how it works, works Bart. They just got to get hot. Yeah. And they have a quarterback that right now in any shootout, you're taking. They have an offensive coordinator and play caller in Sean McVay that right now, in any shootout, you're expecting him to be able to find ways to dial up plays and they almost beat the Baltimore Ravens and that's the only loss this team has in the last six games and that's a team that leads the AFC. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls, I'm just going to get straight into it at this point with the Los Angeles Rams because this team, man, at this point in the NFL season has proven to be the real deal. Whether you want to talk about the offense and how they're one of the most well-rounded units in all of football, whether they're running the ball or throwing the ball, or you want to talk about the fact that the defense, even with being so young and so unexperienced, still looking like a serviceable defense, this team looks like they could be just about anyone. But what makes this team so scary is that they're just now getting hot at the perfect time, and it looks like they're going to continue to get better as they get closer and closer to the playoffs. But before we get into that, if you like content just like this, about the Rams, make sure to go down and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any Rams videos for the remainder of this season. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's just go ahead and get right back on topic with the Los Angeles Rams, and let's start with this offense, man, because they look absolutely unstoppable, and they've been this way for multiple weeks in a row now. When you think about the Rams, you think about them airing it out and being aggressive, throwing the ball down the field with Matthew Stafford, and while they're able to still do that whenever they want to, what's really made this team as dominant as they are is the fact that they can now run the ball at just as an elite level as they can throw it. Kyron Williams is currently first in the entire NFL in rushing yards per game, mainly due to the fact that he's already rushed for over a thousand rushing yards while only playing in 11 games this season, which is absolute insanity. And on top of that, he also has almost 10 touchdowns and over five yards per carry, which are pretty unheard of numbers in the limited amount of games that he's played in. So the fact that he's able to do this has helped this offense be a lot more well-rounded like I mentioned earlier in the video but I don't want to give all the credit just to him I also want to emphasize the fact that this offensive line has also been playing way above expectations and they've also been a big reason why we've seen so much success when you watch Kyron Williams run of course he's one of the better guys at breaking tackles and getting yardage after contact but at the same time there's also multiple runs where you see wide open holes that the O-line creates and when you have a great running back and you pair him with an offensive line like that you're going to see some pretty crazy rushing numbers. But what I love about this team isn't the fact that they can run the ball pretty much down anyone's throat. It's the fact that they can also go off of it with play action and drop back passing and be just as successful in that area. Matthew Stafford, man, ever since coming off the bye week and coming off of his injury has played out of his absolute mind and he's been on an absolute tear and he's looked like one of the best quarterbacks in the entire NFL once again. A lot of people kind of forgot about him after getting injured last year, but he's made sure that everyone remembers that he went to the Super Bowl not too long ago and he's still that caliber of player. He's still hitting crazy arm angle throws and showing his insane arm strength week in and week out, which elevates this offense to a really high level. But it'd also be dumb to not mention the fact that they've also got some pretty good weapons on this team. And as we know, it's those two guys at receiver and Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua. Cooper Cup, as we all know him to be, is one of the best receivers in the entire NFL and it seems like people forgot about him as well when he went down with his injury last year, but he's proven that he's still an elite receiver and Sean McVay still does a great job at putting him in a great position to succeed. And then on top of that, we've also seen the addition of Puka Nakua in this year's draft in the sixth round pretty much change everything for the potential of what this team had coming into the season. When you think about a successful offense, the majority of them have two really, really good receivers to pair with each other, like the Bengals with Jamar and T. Higgins, the Eagles with A.J. Brown and Devonta Smith, and the Rams have now found 
around that and Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua. I mean, Puka Nakua looks like he's been in the NFL for years now with the way he's able to run routes and find the open holes in zones. And on top of that, he also makes some spectacular plays almost every week. So it's just mind-blowing to me that they were able to snag this guy in the sixth round. And then, of course, you also have Tyler Higby, who isn't anything crazy, but he is a guy that you can trust to throw the ball to in key situations, and he can be a safety blanket if you need him to be. So with all things considered, it's pretty easy to see how good this offense really is, especially considering the fact that they went to overtime with the Baltimore Ravens in the rain and managed to score 31 points on probably the best defense in the entire NFL. So at this point, I expect this team to be able to go up and down the field on anybody that they're going to play against, which is going to put them in a great position to win pretty much any game that they're going to play in going forward. But to be honest, if someone would have came up to you and said that this Rams offense was one of the better offenses in the NFL with Cooper Cup and Matthew Stafford, it would have been pretty easy to believe considering we've seen it before. But what they wouldn't have believed is if you told them that the Rams defense with the only name you know on it is Aaron Donald could be a serviceable to really solid defense this year, they would have looked at you like you were crazy. I mean, before the season, there were so many people saying that this was going to be the worst defense in the entire NFL. And to be honest, it didn't sound that crazy considering you didn't know many people on the team and it was a bunch of young guys strung together with Aaron Donald. But man, I think that guy, Raheem Morris, deserves all the credit in the world because he has been able to build a defense that not only can still get after the passer with only one elite pass rusher on the D-line, but also has done a pretty great job in coverage with all things considered. His goal is to keep everything in front of his defense and not let many big plays happen and at the same time be able to get after the pass rusher with only sending four. And he's been able to do that at a pretty successful rate and it's held a lot of pretty good offenses in check. So when you look at this defense, maybe they're not the Ravens or the Browns defense, but they are a defense that you can't just go up and down the field on because not only does Raheem Morris put all the players in a good position to succeed, but it also looks like Sean McVay and the Rams in total have built a pretty good culture there. And it looks like every guy on the defense is flying around to find the football, which is the definition of what a championship team does. So if I'm just going to be completely honest with you, when I look at this team from top to bottom, I see an offense that can put up 30 plus a game regardless of the opponent that can run the clock out in the run game if they need to or they can come back in the passing attack if they need to and then I see a defense that's led by Raheem Morris that's going to compete their tails off all game long regardless of how much talent they have there and they're going to mix up their coverage to give offenses trouble while at the same time limiting how many explosive plays the offense can create at a really high level which makes me see this team as a really really scary team to play in the playoffs. Currently they sit at the sixth seed in the playoffs, which means they're going to be able to play the Detroit Lions in the first round. And man, I'm going to tell you right now, if that ends up being the case and they play the Lions in the first round, they're going to go to Detroit and they're going to win that game. They're the harder team right now, and I honestly just think they're the better team right now. So it wouldn't surprise me if not only they beat them, but they beat them by more than one score. But that's just my opinion, and I don't want to get too far ahead of myself right now. So you go ahead and let me know how you feel about this Rams team in the comments below. And with all of that being said, I'll catch all of you guys in the next one.